Hi, guys, welcome to Femtech Studio. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to walk in any polygon scene. This tutorial works on any device. That's the tutorial works on Android, iPhone, Windows, and Linus. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Hi, guys, you want to know how to walk in any polygon scene? If your answer is yes, you are welcome to Femtech Studio. This tutorial is grouped into two sections. The first section is for the laptop users, that is either Windows or Mac OS users. And the second section is for the mobile users. So any of these devices you are using, I have a method for you that will surely work. So I will be starting with the first section. Special thanks to God and to all my subscribers. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for your support. I really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so, so, so much. A random shout out to my recent subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. If you want your channel name to be mentioned, kindly click on the subscribe button and like my video if you find the video helpful. Without further ado, let's get down to today's Welcome back. From what I want you to know, this video is subtitled in different languages. All right, so let's get started. First, open up your Plotagon Studio. Like I said, first section that I will be going through. Okay. So once your Plotagon section is open, once the Plotagon is open, I we need to create this scene first, okay? So to do that, which I've already done, just to show you, let on create a video, okay? From the create a video, select scene. From, the, from this place, select this. Then you have varieties of scene you can use. But since we actually want to use uh, the working character, we can either select any of these, but I prefer to use uh, the one that shows bit wide shots, either this or this, okay? So let me select this. Now, next, select the actor you actually want to uh, use. Try, try to select the builder. Now, from the builder, for eventually I have something to write. For eventually we have something to write. So what we could do now is to select the, uh, sorry, select the text. Pitch, select the builder then let's write so welcome to femtech studio okay so what i've just done is to input the text welcome to femtech studio in today's tutorial i will show you how to walk in any now from what you could see here is actually facing so we want him to face the camera here all right so to do that we need the camera uh tweaking we need to tweak the camera and the position of the character okay so to do that select an actor let's ghost so i just want him only to be in the scene okay to select the ghost now uh goes to the camera switch the goes to the ghost to camera and switch the builder far from the camera so once the builder is talking now uh, he will face ghost because the ghost normally is meant to be in this position right now but since he's a ghost we can't see it we can't see him or her all right now once we play it welcome to femtech studio in today's tutorial now can you see it's, it's facing this 
device that is the camera view where we want him to actually what uh, face once you are done with the text you actually want to input here you can just come over here to render your video you can render your video in 4k resolution all right and based on the version of Plotagon studio i'm actually using presently so i can render my video in 4k resolution all right so uh once that is done i have a video that i've created on that so let me hi show you. guys welcome to femtech studio in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to walk in any Plotagon scene this tutorial works on any device that's the tutorial works on Android, iPhone, Windows, and Linus. All right, so that is the video, the raw video before it was being edited. All right, so let me show you how to go about that. So, to still in the scene, and to do that, to get the scene, it's quite easy. Let's, let's go back uh, from anyone here. Now, from what I tried to do here, from the scene, you could see, from here, you could see these scenes. In the intro video so why the what i did was to open up uh the scene and look for any scene that i think it's okay as you can see this temple scene has a base a floor ground and a wall okay likewise this temple has a floor ground and a wall so i can decide to work in any of this scene like this it look more realistic and more uh shall i say more professional all right but things like this it's not that good for you to use it because it doesn't have a floor base all right and it's just a plane okay so that's why i decided to use a bus stop like this and once i did that i didn't actually even use but once I select on this, this will want to show me where I place the ghost. So I did this, just uh, close that, then export, export the video in uh, in 4K resolution. Once that was done, so I think I had this uh, coming. Okay, are you okay? I had this video format and what I did was to convert this video format to an image a JPEG format okay using uh, the Photoshop all right so if you want the conversion how to convert your videos to pictures okay just let me know in the comment section below that will make this video so lengthy and so boring all right i don't want that okay so i'll leave this uh scenes for you to follow along and likewise the uh the working uh the working scene also in my telegram channel okay so if you have any question you actually want to ask me you can join my telegram channel and my whatsapp okay so i'll be glad to answer your questions but i prefer you join my telegram channel once we've exported out our scenes now after i've created the scene and also converted my pictures my video scene into the picture format the next thing to do is to remove the background uh, scene from this working character to do that software i use is adobe after effects 2020 select on it when i open up adobe okay upon opening up adobe after effects you might not receive this uh, compatibility error but in case just in case you uh, receive this this is actually telling you that you won't be able to uh, create that video for long okay that is you might continue to experience issues performing integration and instability of, and loss of data okay but do not worry i will use this 
just in case you this also pop out try to select fix and follow the instruction you, you should get it fixed for you okay but for the sake of this tutorial let us continue with it so i'll continue with known issue mind you you might not have that same issue okay that same issue might not pop out for you so do not think not compulsory you have a graphic system before you can use adobe after effects but with the use of the graphic system it makes the work more faster all right now once you open up the adobe after effects 2020 from here double click on this thing this panel here or you can also select open okay then select import import size import media anyone so locate where you download the video okay so select this and select import now from what we have here as you can see we nothing is showing up presently that's because we haven't dragged the video to the timeline okay do that just drag and drop it like this once that is done you notice something is being created a composition is being created okay like i said previously our aim here is to rem uh, cut out the background scene from the character we only need the character okay so let me uh have a wider view now in after effects 2020 there's a tool called go through brush and that is what we are going to use throughout this video to create uh the cut out edges okay now once i select on road through brush this arrow not changing nothing's occurring yet and once i double click on it make sure the scene is selected double click on it now you notice the arrow sign has changed okay so let me make it more bigger for you to see and let me enlarge the brush so you can see to enlarge the brush select your control button and your left click button to expand like this okay so this is you can see it's now big okay and you can also reduce this so quickly before we uh start there are things i need to show you now to add a selection the brush must be green to add the select a selected part okay that is probably i want to select this place does this place only do so you notice actually picked actually picked uh this the grass and this region also all right so to deselect to make sure it's mark out does this grass only do that i need to remove this line away that is to subtract the line and to do that hold down your alt button you notice the arrow has now changed okay so hold down the alt button then drag that portion you actually want to replace so once that is done you notice it's now on the edge of the grass you can also do that here also by applying it here all right so you can see it's now applying to the edge of the grass now to move front and back just hold down your scroll button to move the object front and back and let's say you end up doing something like this to return it back for you to see it come down to this point here and you select on uh, fit to 100 percent of fit depending on the one you prefer to use. okay so before we continue i need to show you some things also remember the video time uh duration is 18 seconds and that's what you can see here 18 seconds okay so if you decide to trim the video probably to 10 seconds we can do that 
I think uh, for the sake of this tutorial, I will just do that to uh, let me say uh, three seconds. Okay, the secret here is for you to know how to go about it. All right, so I will just show you how to go about this now. That is the timeline for you. So, and one more uh, tip is the reason why I selected to three seconds is because I need only three seconds of this video frame to show you. But if you are doing yours, you can use the whole complete uh, frame. All right. Now, from here we have what we call the alpha toggle. Okay, that is. The area you selected is only what will be revealed. That is, remember what we selected now is only what we are seeing. And in in the world of uh, of art, it's white reveals black concealed. Okay, that is white. Once the area is marked white, you see it. Once the area is marked black, you don't see it. All right. So that's what is our point here. That area is selected that's why we can only see this and other scene here is black so once i select on uh this it takes me back to the normal scene we have and you can also go along play with this likewise this does should i say uh, in place of the area you selected it will be shown why the other areas will show this pink uh color of the thing okay so let's continue now i think that is all you need to know so based on what other things you need to know i'll let you know while we are actually going along with this video so at this point you might experience i mean this video you might experience some uh should i say uh some degree some degradation okay because of that graphics okay so you might experience something of such but nevertheless yours is to get this done yours is to nevertheless yours is to know how to work on this okay and get it done okay so you can also help me out with my laptop to get me a laptop so you can also help me out to get a good laptop if can help me out you can help my channel to get a good laptop so i can create more videos like this for you no amount you help my channel with is too small thank you so much for your support my uh paper link is down below and also if you're in nigeria my account number is also there all right so uh let's continue so from here let's uh, remove this now we don't want this it's not what we want actually so that's that range okay you don't want that okay i can also increase the brush just to remove that hold on my alt key erase that i don't want that okay so that is erased all right so let's reduce the brush size bit something like this okay now it's been reduced so let's mark out the area based on the selection i told you the green is used to select the areas you actually want to use. so just reduce it a little bit just not compose with that straight just mark out the areas you actually want okay it gives me something uh, equivalent to what I actually need. So from here we have this space here. So I can reduce the brush, hold down your control key, uh, left click button, drag your left click, hold down the control button, left click and drag, then the alt key. You have something like this. Okay. And also alt key again you have something like this okay all 
all right so you can actually still work on this if you actually want uh that now from here based on what i told you let's look at this now you'll notice something is being cut off from this character the calf the art the l melt is not that showing fully okay it's because this this is not selecting this other part so to do that just draw it down and just follow the way i did it and you should have something like this so once i select on the alpha top again you can see now it's now fully shown okay so you could correct this uh, part also this pink line has to be on the edge somewhere like this be on the edge like this okay so you notice there is a cut here like taking more than expected so hold on your alt key then that side it gives me what i actually want you can actually still fight soon uh that part also select this and scroll down okay so let me expand the brush get multi selection to get a eye selection okay likewise this So this is also now as you can see what I'm doing it's I'm actually selecting those area I uh, need okay so I think the intensity is too much so let's cut this edge away make it look nice all right likewise add this selection of edge together like this okay so hold down your scroll button to pan then to zoom in this edge you notice this is actually uh not giving not marking out the edge okay so we could just reduce the brush size carve out that edge we think and like this okay so as you can see things in applicable here so i'm going to fast forward uh the video so likewise here also you notice once you set the alpha toggle the fit not showing rather not showing so just select it to mark out that selection also now it's now showing but to note this cut once i select on the alpha toggle it's not showing any uh differential between the legs okay and that's because this place is not yet uh, separated so to minus this place you don't add this place okay because how about you actually want to cut so select your uh select your hold an alt key and drag like that the left click button okay let's zoom a little bit up get this point also hold an alt key drag Okay. So I won't be doing the details of all this just to show you how to be about about it. Okay. Now this is uh, quite from here. There are two ways to go about this. The first method is by letting the play button. Now, what the play button will do is to uh, pick out those sections that have been highlighted. 
throughout this scene why the character is walking okay so throughout that scene throughout that video clip to be selected throughout so it's probably sometimes it's always like say 80 90 percent accurate okay but within that 10 percent you have some uh one you need to edit so what am i trying to say let's take a look at this once you are done with the selection select play so from you from what you can see now hi guys welcome if you, now i hope you understand so i just need to pause it because i'm actually recording and also doing the same uh working on after effects so it might get low on my system and i don't want it to crash okay so now like i said we only having i will only create just four uh seconds of this video or lesser than that once you complete once you set the automatic to complete the working scene of the character then you might not get the 100 percent accuracy of it but probably i say 90 to 95 percent of it okay so i personally decide to prefer to do it 10 frames by 10 frames or single frames by single frames okay do not misquote me okay so what i always do to have a good cut and a professional uh workout ammunition based on the video you just watched okay is to do it frame by frame like i said i'll do it 10 frames by 10 frames you can actually as well follow me along which i recommend you also doing like i said i am not actually going to select this again no i'm not doing that so all i want to do now is on each frame i want to make sure that uh the lines are in place okay the lines are stick to the edges of the character now so from here once i have reduced this let's just uh select this for me what you have here if i hold down control and my greater than and my arrow key the right you notice it moves single frame by frame okay so i can as well fast forward it to move in more higher frames okay so to do that okay so to do that Hold down control plus shift then remove you notice it's more about three frames high. okay so you can see it now I'll try to make sure none of the edges is cut out okay if I confirm that none of the edges is cut out then I can as well continue again, hold down my control plus my shift button and select it again. So you can see 10 frames. Just let it uh, do its thing. Okay, let it work itself. But you just uh, confirm if the edges are in line with the character. Okay, so as you can see, yes it's now in line with the character yes perfectly now once i there's something i actually want to show you here let's take a look a look at this once i select just a single frame that is a single frame is you hold on your control button with your directional uh, arrow okay hold on the control button with the directional arrow you notice something you notice this is occurring okay it's not on that image let me try to take it to one more frame so that it can be visible to everyone all right i think this is visible enough so as you can see if you've used uh the automatic uh selection that's once you select your auto brush mark out the edges and you select play this will pick it up also then like i said it's 95 percent uh, correct okay 
in scenes like this okay in scenes like this because it has this scene has different colors so it really tries a lot in scenes like this all right so to work it out now so you can see why i said it's better you use you frame it uh, frame by frame you do it manually like this so just zoom into that point reduce your brush size then hold down your alt key to cut out that edge away all right so as you can see it's now on that same edge so let me go back a little bit so that's the one i showed you that i noticed just go to that also now i think nice okay so moved a frame ahead okay i'm moving a frame ahead and uh like i said i'll just be doing uh, those three seconds of this made like select rotary brush it returned back to this do not worry i will show you how if you do not want to actually render all the old uh scene okay how to go about it okay so i'll do that i'll show you but just going for three seconds of this uh, section here but i think the old part is marked out well i can fit it with 100 percent back then select control shift and my directional button all right so same thing applicable again you see just try to edit this portion like this right i think it's okay then next again we could control shift directional button all right now we are at three seconds we need to save this video this file very important please always make sure you always save when you try to work on any software program okay so all right so in case your system is a little bit slow and you notice me probably when you run it the automatic uh play button and it crashed or says not responding to some extent please i prefer or advise you also to use the uh frame by frame okay and once you get to probably every uh one second frame interval try to uh just save save a copy you can save a copy okay so once you save a copy of that then let's save so once you save the copy that is you are work still working on the original copy but you already have a copy so in case this crashed at a particular point you won't lose what you've done so far okay like that is how i work with the type of system i'm using presently okay so if you have a higher system a very good system you might not face this issue but the next thing to do is to tell virtual brush we actually want to cut out that edges away and how do we do that Firstly, before we have before we could do that we need to freeze uh the retro brush what does that mean by freezing freezing simply means like the word sound freeze like to hold to stop something okay to pause something in the sense that whatever you've wrote through so far will not be uh erased because if i try to uh select on this play button on the play button it will actually try to it will want to start from the starting again okay so freezing is a way of uh when you freeze it you actually uh tell auto brush not to edit what you've done so far okay now if i select freeze it will start from it will count all the old frames including this and the these other ones i did not want so what i'll do is to trim it to this to that point i said three seconds ok 
okay then select Greece so as you can see it starts from uh from the beginning again okay and you see it's now actually uh working facing four of 97 so if i did not shrink it down i leave it down to 87 then it will freeze it it will read it it will freeze every since including the one i've worked on and the one i haven't uh worked on okay so from what you could notice now it has been freezed and you notice this ice guys say ice color something like lilac okay now which means we can now move to the next procedure but before i proceed there's something i want to let you know about uh aminations okay so before i do that let me scroll down and show you uh this one from the video so that you will have a better understanding of how aminations works okay now before i uh, proceed let me explain in aminations when you want to make your character to work there are two ways you can do it is either the scene is stationary then the um the character moves from one point to the other which the camera also follows along okay why the second method is the character will stand in one position but the scene itself will move so the scene will be moving not the character the two are called aminations that is you are, the character is moving from one point to the other so let me try to explain let me, let's try to see what i'm trying to say here let's open up the default one first so i can explain you can understand it more better hi guys welcome to femtech studio all right now if you notice something this character is just in this position throughout the character is not moving the scene is actually the one that is moving not the character let's take a closer look at it again i'll put the cursor here if the scene if the character is actually moving then the character should move away from uh the cursor okay so that's one way you will understand that the character is just in one position but the scene is the one moving okay so let's let me play it in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to walk in any polygon scene this tutorial works on any so can you see that the character is actually in one position but the scene is the one that is actually what i mean this background is the one that's actually moving 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 okay that is one way of uh so that is one way of creating an animations all right now take a closer look at uh this one now if i open this one for you to see hi today i'm going to show you how to walk in polygon in different you will notice that the two characters are on the same position but they are having uh this hand movement leg movement but they are not moving away from that position now once we look at it it seems hi today i'm going to show you, you know it really doesn't look as if they are actually moving from one point to the other it shows they are just moving on a loop okay but we want it to look like the way uh plot are actually created their own okay that is we want to make sure that the it's the character moves moves okay so two ways to do it like i said 
is it that we make sure the character move from one point to the other or we make the scene the background scene move from one point to the other and here is one i did okay based on what you just saw i think this is under one uh let me see so uh this is it now once i click on this hi okay. guys welcome to femtech studio and you can see that the scene is actually stationary or the character moves from the left down to the right okay day tutorial i'm going to show you how to walk in any polygon scene this tutorial works on any device all right good now i hope you understand the two ways of eliminating now okay so we are going to use uh that second method that is we'll make our scene stationary all right and we'll allow the character to move from the left down to the right or you can also like to move from the right down to the left it all depends on you but i prefer moving from the left to the right so once i teach you that then you can do that yourself all right so uh back to after effects okay so from uh trying to uh, position myself somewhere okay probably yes okay so that i won't obstruct any of the view. i think all right so uh let's take a look at what i'm doing so you understand the more now from here so we have a north uh base now i've seen okay so all these though i didn't make mention of this but uh before we continue feathers these are mostly if you are used to uh photoshop they are more or less uh, the same whereby uh, the sharpness of the edge uh, the contrast the shift edge the, you can just play along with this but for this tutorial the default settings is okay for us okay for every everyone okay all right now uh so from here let's from what we have here let's change the uh the background now since we photo it to three seconds now you should have this uh composition protagon working scene once you select on it yours might be not be uh, of this color the green screen okay I actually edited that to have uh the green uh screen actually edited that to have the green screen or oh, what well, if yours is not that then uh ne nevertheless it's it will still work if yours is not that we can actually change that and how do you do that very simple all you need to do is make sure not uh nothing selected and select composition composition settings so from the background color so if you select on this you could just switch to green or any color you prefer so if i switch to black it's black so uh take it back to that green effect okay and select okay all right so now we have the character uh good to go we've actually raised the background sent from it so the next thing to do is to import our uh scene we exported from from uh import our scene we exported from Plotagon studio okay and which has been converted to the picture format all right so the files are also available in the link in the description link Join my Telegram channel and get the file so that you can also follow along. All right. So this is Plotter Gun. Then uh, the first one I use is this. Okay. Then select. Okay. So what I can do is from here, go back to the project, then double click on this portion. So then I have 
first one is this okay select import all right so once i do that to make it reflect i will just drag and drop it at this portion so as you can see it has actually uh taken a new shape right good so the next thing to do is uh select on the on uh, the protagon scene that is the character himself then uh select the box here so once we select this box it will give us this manipulator okay so with the manipulator now we can now rotate drag shift and all that things with this character okay so let's select on this on the arrow trying to zoom in to get that arrow selected well okay now it's giving me okay it's giving me a warning no problem so i'll select on it and move move it to the side let's put the character on the floor let's place the character on the floor now somewhere here is okay okay somewhere here is okay somewhere here somewhere here is okay all right now so we want to make sure the uh this is the starting of the scene so we want to make sure we could just make our calculation i have the old uh theory scenes okay theory scenes i mean three seconds of this so we have video just three seconds so i will just show you how to import it in those one scene and if you still want more detailed tutorial on this i uh, just let me know in the comment sec in the comment box below now we love to to help out all right so from here we need to animate it so that it can move from one point to the other and to do that uh once you select on this select on this scroll button you can see some uh, effects transformation materials option so we just need the transformation and instead of going down to the transformation then set on the position all you need to do is just select p on your keyboard okay press p then this will come pop out for you once that is pop out select on this stopwatch then you have this uh you've created a keyframe yeah a keyframe has been created okay so once i drag the keyframe down to probably okay to the last edge as the three seconds okay then i need to set it at this three seconds where did i want you to stop so uh moving it oops i think i've selected the wrong um okay again so let's try to make sure it's Great. Okay. Somewhere like this. All right. So I decided, okay, this is all. Uh, if I leave it like this, let's see. All right. So a keyframe has been created just in case. You are at this point and the keyframe is not created okay probably you are at this point once you drag your character to this point and the keyframe is not created what you need to do is just select on this button okay let me uh delete this this okay so this is the point at which i am now you can see once i move out of the four the three seconds it shows me the uh the ones i did not roll through okay so 
let me take it back like this all right now from here just select on this then move the character somewhere here somewhere here is okay oh you should be back okay then okay selected so you can actually select this to add the keyframe once it's not selected just select this to add to the keyframe or to remove all right so oops Bam. okay so that is it and the keyframe is done all right it means the character will walk down from here to this words to this point so you can actually check it out let's select play but before we do that i like i said let's select save a copy again so let's call this uh let's call this let's call this two so we know okay if copy is what we have as number two all right so let's select play hi guys welcome to femtech studio so sometimes uh you need to let it uh try to do uh let this red line moves first okay, once it gets to this point it will stop then it will play uh, well all right so those i'll skip this now let this uh once it gets to this point i'll be back on this if which asks me all right so now that is the point i want to stop so after four seconds you can see it's going back again all right so let's take it back like this and now play it it So it's actually uh nice as you can see it's moving well based on what they actually wanted and okay so let me see again in studio in hi guys let's see let's see what's really happening here let's go back okay so nice hi okay. guys welcome to femtech studio in as welcome see, to femtech studio it's in moving uh, nice so you can as well uh be in uh play along with the indicator so that you can actually have a better view of how it works and if one more thing if i should bring this like uh if we're very closer it means the character will work very fast and we don't want that okay so in the next in the next tutorial when we have a detailed tutorial on this okay i will show you how to do that so for the second once we now have this as this is our video we actually want to create okay so we need to create uh, edit something that is composition in the composition composition settings then that frame since we are not ending it at 18 seconds i'm only ending that three seconds so we need to correct this we need to correct this as go theory okay let me just say zero, zero. that is okay 
okay so the next thing now is to uh import it i mean export it out of uh after effects all right so to do that select composition now we have many methods of exporting and i want you to take a very close look at what i'm trying to do now okay now once you select add to uh, render queue this is you can either render it by media encoder you can add it to render uh, render queue stuff like that there are different one you can use but in case you don't have adobe media encoder all right we can actually render it from character from our uh, after effects here so let's be render Once I select re-render, you will notice something. Uh, this settings is now showing under the render queuing. Okay. Under the render, you could notice that the render setting, best settings, uh, the, the format is actually going to render it is in this format. Okay. So you can as well play with all these uh, video formats. But you need to just take a look at what i'm trying to say here okay so once we select render it should render it in no time because this is just a short uh, clip video but if you are using the 18 seconds then it might take up to should i say five to ten minutes to render it out okay so there's something that's going to bust your mind now that we are going to see and i'll show you how to uh go about it so once you render in adobe after effects the size become extremely large the video size become extremely voluminous okay okay it should give us a sound so we know that it is completely done okay so you can listen to that and that is i'm done all right so let's uh minimize this for now minimize this also so this is the uh the one with us created now before we even play it let me show you something you need to know if i right click and look at the properties of this video the file size of this video is 2.8 gigabytes that is just three seconds video that is too much right too much those three seconds video okay so there's a way you are going to beat down the uh the the file size to a reasonable amount which will not affect the resolution of the video all right so i wish i'm going to show you right away so if you are actually doing the same one I did also, I think it's another one I did also. Uh, the one I rendered myself also, I rendered out 18 gig. I think this was the 18, probably not up to 18 seconds. I, th I think I stopped it uh, along the way, giving 13.33 gigabytes. That's around, probably around that 10, let me see the uh okay about 14 seconds as you can see 14 seconds it's too much really really too much all right so to uh reduce the file size once you are done with it very simple you need the video editing software uh the one i use is camtasia 2019 all right and we opened up camtasia now Although Camtasia 2020 will also do it. Camtasia, starting from Camtasia 2016 upward, do it. Okay. So open up Camtasia. See, from the Camtasia app, just select a uh, new project. Once you select a uh, new project, select import. Okay, so this is one of the application I use, a video recording software I use, Camtasia. Just desktop, I think, saved as Protagon's Spoken Scene 5. You can see that's it. 
and select open because the file is so big so it might take a little while to load up okay now it's loaded up on the scene here now delete does this down to okay one okay so i already have this one it does drag to the time frame here now this is it so i advise not to even play it or anything does select here local file select 10 uh mp4 this then select next to so select the area you actually want to save it to uh, let me see desktop green and let me save it on the desktop okay let me save it on the desktop as Plots are gone. Okay, let's enter. So select. I don't want to quickly organize this a a subfolder. So let's. Okay. So let's give it time for it to have it. Yeah. Likewise, you. Thank you. And minimize this. So now this is as you can see plotter gone so let's uh, right click and it has been it has converted to mp4 okay the one we exported was avi format that's not converted it to mp4 so you could see the file size 1.09 megabytes and you see this the difference between the file size all right so once we we can now play this now and to play well without any issue okay hi guys welcome to femtech studio hi guys welcome to femtech studio hi guys welcome to femtech studio all right so that is how to go about uh about that thank you so much so for the second section please kindly watch the next video for the second section that is how to work in any protagonist scene with your mobile device thank you all right so if you find this video helpful all right so if you have any question on this video please kindly leave your question in the comment section below god bless you